Picture yourself. This is not a dream. It's the first proper week of spring. And after the long Nordic winter, people are out in the park, mixing, mingling. Normal life, as we know it, has stopped. But not everywhere. Remember this? Going out, eating, socializing. Well, in Sweden, they're still doing it. Unlike all its European neighbors, Swedish policy is locked down light. Citizens can still mostly go about their life. The government, entrusting its people to just use common sense. Social distancing it's more relaxed in Sweden. Much of Europe has gone into lockdown. But in the spring sunshine, Stockholm cafes have customers, the schools are open, and the Prime Minister has urged people not to panic. In my opinion, Sweden is handling the crisis very good. Uh, and it's partly because I don't think I could manage being inside the whole day. The number of coronavirus-related deaths per million people is far lower in Sweden than here in the locked-down UK. It's even lower than Italy, Spain and France, which have been locked down even longer. It's worth noting Sweden is much earlier in its curve versus other European countries. The death figure could still explode in the coming weeks. Um, you know, recently you heard Trump say that it's a disaster over here, the coronavirus. The herd, they call it the herd. Uh, Sweden's suffering very, very badly. And my friends and family back home are texting me and saying like, oh my God, what's it like in Sweden? We hear it's just death and destruction everywhere. So it's funny how the media can really get to people. Danish political scientist, Dr. Bjorn Lomborg is a globally recognized economist and a big thinker, who's turned his expertise to the coronavirus conundrum. We should do a lot for corona, but we shouldn't do everything. Just like we should have speed limits, but we shouldn't have speed limits down to five kilometers an hour. Trump uh, yesterday criticized a small country in Europe called Sweden. He said they made a mistake. There are horrible deaths there. I have no idea what Trump is talking about. And as usual, I doubt very much that Trump knows what Trump is talking about. Let's take as a comparison to your, the neighboring countries in Scandinavia, because yep. a lot of people are sending around these charts that show that Denmark and Norway and Finland have had much fewer deaths on a per capita basis and Sweden, the, the rate is still climbing, and they take that as proof. I think that the difference between countries would be quite small in the end. It's about saving the restaurants, it's about saving the pubs, it's about saving uh, people's work. Maybe we have found a good balance, but let's see when it's over. If we don't have a society that works, then the healthcare system cannot work. So you have to strike the right balance here. And if it doesn't work, we're ready to make new decisions. Whether or not the Swedish experiment continues to work remains to be seen. But political scientist Bjorn Lomborg sees it as an example of the terrible trade-off we all need to make. That is actually what the Swedish authorities are doing right now. They are accepting to have more deaths right now because it'll also mean fewer deaths in the future. And at the same time, of course, it'll mean less economic damage. If the lockdown is a treatment that's being trialed globally, then Sweden is the control group. This is not about going out and getting your hair done or meeting your mates down the park. This is about whether the course the rest of the world is on, it's sustainable or even beneficial in the long term. I don't think we'll have more deaths. Come back one year from now and I think we'll have the same proportion of deaths. 
This virus is here and it's going to stay and it's all around the world. Um, so we're going to have to come to terms with what we can do to minimise the risk, but without trying to go for zero risk, because that's an impossibility. Thank <laughs> you.